orgs are moving to software-defined architectures, whether it's for agility or efficiency, reducing total cost of ownership, time to market. Big IPVE provides that advanced functionality, um, but in a virtualized form that can be run using commercial hypervisors on common off-the-shelf servers or uh, you know, COTS more commonly. The COTS trade-off in flexibility comes primarily at the cost of performance. A few examples of things that can typically be achieved more efficiently in hardware include DDoS mitigation, SYN cookies, global whitelisting, Q and Q tunneling, cryptographic processing, all typically things that put significant strain on CPU resources. So what can we do about that? If we don't have the big IP hardware, what's our solution? And one of the things that you can do is use a hardware accelerator. And two solutions that we'll talk about today is the Intel FPGA um, Pack N3000 SmartNIC and also the Intel Quick Assist technology or CAT for short. And just so you're aware, for this solution, you need VE plus a FM on 15.1.0.4 and higher. And on this solution, VE on 14.1.0.3 plus. So we'll get that, uh, those details out of the way. Again, VE. AFM is a required module for this and the version. And then, of course, in this one, you just need VE. All right, so let's talk about what they are. Let's do the Smart NIC first. The Smart NIC from Intel has a, an FPGA in it that can be programmed to perform specific tasks, similar to the TurboFlex FPGA profiles that you have in Big IP i-Series appliances. And so the first use case that we'll do is a, a DDoS mitigation. So we have our COTS server here with a hypervisor. And one of the things running on this is Big IPVE. And in this COTS server, we also have installed in here this SmartNIC. And so we have a client we'll put out here. And the client is sending good traffic in through the smart NIC, up through the hypervisor. VE's doing what VE does, doing its amazing application delivery. And then we'll go ahead and send that back to a application server. And that app server may live on this server. It may be on a different server, uh, but we'll just assume it's off server for this. And then that app server gets the traffic, sends it back, and then VE does what VE does and the response traffic. And if everything's good, send that back to the client. And so it does that at scale for any number of clients that are out there. Then we have Mr. Bad Actor here sending some DDoS traffic into the system. Now AFM, and I will put that in here as it is a required component for this solution. AFM has a threshold that is defined. Thresh, is that two H's? I don't know, I'm not a speller. So AFM has a threshold defined for the amount of identified traffic and so the, the AFM handles the, the thresholding of whatever the smart NIC FPGA programming is going to um, detect and, um, and ultimately mitigate. And that mitigation can be done uh, via dropping or rate limiting, really depends on what your, your settings are. And so this traffic comes in, and maybe a little bit of that is bleeding through, um, depending on your thresholds, but at some point, 
you can activate and then where it says, hey, that's, that's too much and we're just going to block so it doesn't even come through. So you might have some early trickling through and, uh, you know, maybe AFM blocks everything and nothing comes back to the server. Um, maybe some of it's getting through, but at some point then VE and AFM are not even going to see that because this smart neck is going to cut it off. So that is um, uh, solution number one. And in FI's testing, it shows that this VE with AFM smart NIC solution, it's able to mitigate a DDoS attack at 70 times, 70 uh, greater in magnitude than with AFM and VE alone. So smart NIC, great solution. All right. Next up is the quick assist technology. And this is also a hardware accelerator on a COTS server. So we've got this and we'll build our hypervisor in here. And then one of the running virtual servers is uh, Big IP VE. We have clients out here and we have app servers out here. And so typically with a, a VE, when you're handling any kind of crypto, you're sending that in. Um, so we're secured on this side. We're coming up to VE and then that gets unencrypted. And then in the clear, sent back to the app server. If it's defined that way, it may do uh, encryption back to the end, but assuming you know, we're going to assume here that, that we're doing offload. And then we encrypt back. So we've got locked traffic there and unlocked traffic there. Now, what we can do, much like in this solution, is we can install that quick assist technology card. And that is going to allow you to offload the crypto for this service. And so virtual edition in 14.1.0.3 and higher can take advantage of that card. And so instead of VE doing the decryption, this card's going to do it. And so VE just passes that traffic down. So if we had a, a different client here, let's say client two, you know, we're going to send that through the VE down here to quick assist, and then it can send it back to VE for processing. VE again does what it does, then either can re-encrypt and send back to a server or in the clear can then just send that out. And then of course with the back path come in here to VE and then it sends it down in here to the clear. It does what it needs to do to re-encrypt that, send it back to the client. And so not only do you get a significant um, improvement in uh, SSL TPS, which in testing shows a 5x benefit, um, but also for bulk encryption, you're seeing a 2x benefit. And what that allows is that about 35% CPU reduction, which allows big IP VE compute resources to handle other things. So, excellent solutions where you can take commercial off-the-shelf products, throw in some hardware acceleration technology with the right configuration of VE and modules and versions, and you got yourself a far more efficient solution on non-big IP hardware. So, hopefully this was interesting for you, it was interesting for me to learn, and uh, I hope you have a great day. And if you like this video, click subscribe. We'll see you out there in the community.